Lymphatic drainage of the thoracic cavity is important because this is how lung cancers and lung infections spread. So there are lymphatics which drain the most of the lung parenchyma, the airways, and the visceral pleura. The drainage pattern is essentially similar to the pulmonary venous, venous drainage pattern that they go up through the circulation to the hyla where there are hyla lymph nodes. And then from there, they go to mediastinal lymph nodes. And from there, they go to the thoracic duct and back into the venous circulation. This is a diagram showing uh, some mediastinal lymph nodes. The point about this diagram is that scattered throughout the mediastinum, there's a large number of, me of lymph nodes, which are relatively small normally. But because of the drainage from the lung via the hyalur nodes to the mediastinal nodes, patients with lung cancer may present with enlarged hyalur nodes or enlarged mediastinal nodes due to the metastatic spread of their disease. And those mediastinal nodes could be in very different positions within the mediastinum because of the extensive network of lymphatics that there are present there. The nerves of the thoracic cavity, the most important nerves is the phrenic nerve, which supplies the diagram we've discussed already, arises from the third, the fourth, and the fifth cervical roots. It runs through the mediastinum and over the pericardium to, to reach the diaphragms and, and innervate the diaphragms. The intercostal nerves we've also described already, they arise from the thoracic nerve roots and they run under each rib and they, set, they provide uh, pain sensation to the pleura and to the overlying chest tissue. There's also a vagus of the sympathetic nervous system to the bronchial walls, and that's important because that generates the, the smooth muscle action that can cause bronchoconstriction. And that can be reversed uh, by treatment um, and is the main target for the bronchodilator therapies used for asthma and COPD. The vagus and sympathetic nerve system also supplies the mucus glands, that's mainly the vagus nerve, uh, and stimulates production of mucus. The important thing about the phrenic nerve is that it has a long course, and because it crosses the pericardium, it's actually quite fragile, and it's quite easy for one single phrenic nerve to be damaged in some way, uh, by multiple different methods, often by cardiac procedures, for example. And that will leave that side's diaphragm paralyzed, and therefore it will not contract during ventilation, and will, its effect on ventilation will be lost. The single paralysis of a hemidiaphragm is fine. A bilateral diaphragmatic paralysis is fatal without respiratory support. So just to summarize the main learning points for this lecture on the lung anatomy, the lungs are contained in an expandable bony cage which comprises of the vertebra, the sternum, and the ribs. Air enters the lungs through the trachea and is conducted down through the bronchial tree to reach the alveoli. The main divisions of the bronchi on the right-hand side are the upper, middle, and lower lobes, and on the left-hand side, just the upper and lower lobes. The alveoli themselves are very thin-walled, have a huge surface area, and are closely in contact with pulmonary capillaries. And this is all important for gas exchange. And this is an anatomical design to ensure that maximum oxygen input occurs from the alveoli into the blood. The lungs are supplied by two different circulations. There's the low-pressure pulmonary artery circulation, which is required for oxygen uptake, and there's the high-pressure systemic bronchial artery circulation, which is required for delivery of, oxygen, uh, delivery of oxygen to the lung tissue. The lungs are surrounded by a thin pleural space. It's a potential space that can get filled up with pleural fluid or an air in pathological circumstances. And the lymph drainage of the lung is first to the hyla and then to the mediastinal nodes, and that dictates what happens when patients have cancer uh, and with the metastatic spread of the disease. Thank you for listening. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.